Victor Ken Bykoff, Inside Indiana. What kind of challenges does VCU present that maybe some of the other teams you played this year haven't? Um, I mean, they play high tempo. You know, uh, they press a lot. You know, uh, they get up and down the floor. Um, they like to turn teams over, and um, you know, they're long and they're athletic. Um, um, they're they're kind of different from a lot of the Big Ten teams we've played. So uh, we're gonna have to come ready to play. Bob Kravitz with the Indianapolis Star. Just to follow up on that, what kinds of things can you do in practice to sort of replicate the kind of pressure that they bring you? Um, just practice at a high level, you know. Um, work on the things we have to work on in order to be successful. Um, listen to what the coaches have to tell us. Um, you know, work on our press breaks and things like that, you know. And uh, work on taking care of the ball. Uh, Kevin Bowen, Indiana Daily Student. Victor, can you kind of talk about the responsibility on you and Remy tomorrow, especially with Jordan having to handle it? I believe you played 35 minutes on Thursday night. How much is it on you and Remy to kind of help him out? Um, it's going to be big. Um, it's going to be big for everybody to step up, you know, and uh, to handle that pressure and be able to handle the ball. So um, it's going to be big, you know, for us to help Jordan a little bit. Um, so uh, in order for us to win. Paul Woody from the Richmond Times Dispatch. A question for uh, Christian. Uh, the Indiana program was down when you got there, down when Coach Crean came in. Could you talk a minute about what it took to get it back to where it is now? Oh, well, it took a lot of hard work. You know, uh, when, I, when I first got here, we didn't, we didn't really have anybody to lead, so, we, so I kind of had to, you know, step up and take their role as a, as a, as a freshman. And, um, you know, we had some older class, but, you know, they, wasn't, they didn't really know how to lead either. When they got here, nobody was really here, so, I mean, we just had to take it day by day, and it was a, it was a constant grind. And you know, we finally got to this point. Mike Pegram from Peaks.com. Cody, uh, uh, Wichita State's big man Garrett Stutz was really stopped uh, pretty well last night by VCU defense. What did they do against him, and what will be keys for you against them? Uh, I mean, we just we watched some of that film, but um, you know, they they like to play the up tempo game. Um, you know, pressure the guards a lot, so um, it makes it tough on the guards to get inside. Um, you know, it's not, there's not going to be as many, you know, sets run as just playing basketball and, um, you know, finding the open guy, so um, I'll just try to be active. Vic, I know you guys were happy to win yesterday, but what was the team mood like on the bus going back to the hotel? Was it you guys just euphoric about it, or was it more of a business as usual kind of thing? Um, you know, we was happy about the win, um, but it sets in that, you know, you have a game tomorrow and uh, we got to get back to the drawing board. And uh, that's just, it's exactly what we did when we first got back to the hotel. We got back to the drawing board. So um, it's a big game tomorrow and um, we're going to have to come ready to play. Uh, Cody, Chris Foster with the Los Angeles Times. What was it about Coach Green and Indiana that, that really lured you to commit there? Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a great coach, obviously. Um, you know, the, the program wasn't winning a whole lot when they were recruiting me, but um, I had confidence in the guys that were already here and uh, what Coach Green was doing with the program. So, um, you know, I, I liked him pretty well just from the recruiting process, and um, I couldn't be happier. What, what, what gave you the confidence in him? Uh, I mean, just just talking to him. I mean, you're within, during the recruiting process, he talked to all the coaches quite a bit. So um, after you talk to a guy that much, you, you just kind of get a feeling um, for what he's about. And um, you know, I just found out that he was a pretty genuine guy about what he was saying and um, had confidence in it. Uh, for Christian, is there any other team out there that you can kind of compare the pressure to that you will see on Saturday that you guys have maybe faced earlier in the season? Oh, uh, not really. You know, uh, we, you know, Big Ten teams doesn't really, you know, press and stuff like that. So we really, you know, they're kind of their they're, they're length kind of reminds you of Kentucky the way the way they're long in length. But as far as pressure, you know, I mean, we really haven't faced anybody like it. Christian, Coach Crean was talking last night that you guys basically didn't see Tim Buckley leading up to the game yesterday because he was so busy with prep. You know, going into this one, could you talk a little bit of ju just about how the asso assistants? prepare you guys for these games, especially on a quick turnaround? Oh, well, they do a great job of preparing us. And um, we don't, you know, whenever we get it, we just got to, you know, 
learn the game plan pretty fast. You know, it's kind of on the move. So, I mean, we, just, we do a great job at learning it and, um, you know, actually going out and doing it. Do we have any more questions in the back left? Cody, apologies this is already asked, but what do you think watching VCU's run through the tournament last year and kind of what was your reaction when you saw that they were in the same bracket grouping as you guys for this tournament? Uh, I mean, I didn't think too much about it. I mean, it's uh, a different team than they had last year. Um, you know, we're a different team. Um, you know, we didn't meet them. We didn't meet them last year, so we don't have anything compared to. But uh, you know, they're they're obviously a, a great team, and we're looking forward to the to the game. One more in the back left. Apologize, this was asked. Victor, how do you balance the excitement of being here mixed with the pressure, you know, and all that stuff? How do, how do you guys handle that? Um, you know, um, it's like when, once you get into the game and then, you know, the ball's thrown up and you're here with your teammates, it kind of like the nervousness and the pressure just kind of goes away. And um, now that we have a game under our belt, you know, um, there's no really reason of being uh, feeling any pressure or, or um, you know, feeling any anxiousness, you know. It's, it's just time to play basketball now. Any more questions? All right, thanks, guys.